What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Thank you for stopping in. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you here. Before you guys head out, hit the thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And leave me a comment down below if you have time. I love hearing from you guys. So today, I do have a review for you. But first, we'll go over what I had in the Paquetos. I have not been able to put this guy down since I got it, but even more so since I put the Zerku Tai kit on there. Uh, I was questioning doing it at first, but what an awesome, uh, what an awesome piece of kit! It's just amazing. It shines on this knife. Uh, it being all satin, uh, the the Zerku tie just in you know in good lighting uh, in person, it just looks it looks a hundred times better in person than it does on the video. Uh, amazing uh, Urban EDC Supply, EMP EDC, QSP just killed this design. Uh, and you're going to keep hearing me talk about it uh, until I'm blue in the face. This thing is just amazing. Yes, I love the Nimble and EMP EDC, but this is just a phenomenal uh, knife and design. And the way they finished everything, it... In my opinion, guys, this is the best exclusive Urban EDC has put out yet. Uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, oh, yeah, and we got the nice Zerku tie backspacer. See, that's what I mean. It's hard to tell in the light, but uh, it it's beautiful. It You know, this is like a show-quality knife. And, yes, look at that guy there. The Devo Knives Mash, designed by Kevin and Colin, a Blue Creek Knives exclusive that was sold out in under 10 minutes. Kubi OEM the project. Got a Lynch Northwest Deep Carry Titanium Clip there, which it does fit. That's why this one's on there. I do have a black DLC coated one. Uh, should be exactly like this, but all nice and shiny black. Uh, I think it should go perfect with this opposed to the blacksmith one if it doesn't if it if I don't like it I will just opt for maybe the blacksmith I think the DLC one will go better but uh, we will see here in the next couple of days when I get it but that is what I had in the pocket today so the review I think, I think this is the first concept I've had on the channel. I think. Maybe not, but I think it is. So, we have the concept main street. This is not the little main street. This is the main street. Uh, the bigger one. This is a Dirk Pinkerton design. Uh, and he knows how to design a knife. So we'll go over some specs really quick, and then we will do a little talk about. So you do have a 154 cm coated blade, Warncliffe blade. Uh, 154 cm is one of them steels that uh, I have a ton of it. And I love 154 cm. Uh, as far as like an EDC user or a work uh, pocket knife, 154, 14c, S30, and 35 are four of the best all around steels, uh, in my opinion, for an EDC or crossover to work uh, folding knife. Uh, one, there's a reason they use 154 cm from $80, $90 knives up to $800 knives because it's a well-rounded steel. And the better the heat treat, the better 
uh, the steel is going to perform. Uh, so we'll get right into it here. Uh, it has dual thumb studs for deployment and they are done phenomenally. Uh, they're very comfortable uh, to get right up on and actuate the blade. The thumb flick is amazing, so comfortable. I could do this hours and hours. Uh, it's so comfortable. It, it, the, the thumb studs are very well done, very well placed. Uh, the reverse flick, middle finger flick is also phenomenal. You can use your nail, like come on underneath of it. You can use the meat of your finger. It, it, it's very well done in the sense of the thumb studs. Uh, they have that nice stepping there. Uh, the cone, as I say, the stepped cone, very well done, very comfortable. Uh, I love a good thumb stud knife. Um, that's, you know, just me. Some people like a hole, some people like a flipper, some people like thumb studs. I happen to like all of them almost equally. Uh, if I get tired of thumb studs, I go to a hole. If I get tired of a hole, I'll go to a flipper or sometimes, you know, you get a crossover of two of them or you might get a front flipper with a hole or whatever. Uh, so that's, you know, one good thing about liking a bunch of deployment methods is, you know, you carry one with thumb studs for a little while and you're like, man, I, I, w I need a hole, you know, something with a hole. And then you got something with a hole you know or uh you want something with a flipper tab you know boom flipper tab or something with a front flipper tab or whatever uh so i kind of like everything uh front flipper probably being the least of my favorites but i still do like a front flipper especially if it's done well I like the front flipper, top flipper, uh, but let's get back into this guy here. You do have some nice jimping at the top. It's not real aggressive. It's, uh, I'd say it's enough to kind of uh, grip a little bit. Um, probably either could have stepped it up a notch as far as uh, the grit. Or just done away with it period I don't really know that you need it because where your thumb falls it's on this little spoon this little ramp here um, actually had they put better jimping there that would be even more comfortable uh, so you do have this nice straight edge which is very utilitarian um, great for piercing great for slicing uh the warren cliff is the ultimate uh carry blade shape in my opinion uh there's very few things i would say that a warren cliff uh cannot do uh, had to get a drink of the old coffee there okay so we do have some nice G10 handle scales, uh, nice and not overly grippy, but just grippy enough. Um, you know, I would say it's very well done. Uh, yeah, I would say it's very well done. Now they do make a micarta version, which when I got this knife a while back now, it's been a while. I didn't know they had micarta and as a matter of fact this is one of the i would say it's like a blem almost a blemish model but they do have little main street there on the blade and they obviously messed up when i first got this knife and flicked it open or whatever and i saw that i actually had to measure it and then get the specs of both of them and make sure this was what I ordered, um, come to find out they, I, th I don't know if it was just this particular version, the black on black G10, or if there was several that got through. Um, I'm pretty sure someone else 
over the last two years or so told me that they also had it. I don't remember which model they had. I could have swore it was the same one, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, you do have a deep carry clip. There will be a little bit sticking out. Now this is titanium, which they I looked at like three different websites, and I don't know that I knew that right away, uh, or I didn't know that the whole time. Um, yeah, it, it's titanium, and it it's a 3D milled titanium clip, and uh, nowhere did I see that it is a, a titanium clip, so I'm not sure uh why it's not specified under the specs um this does have ceramic ball bearings in the pivot there um very smooth action very nice uh and this probably has some gunk in it i would venture to say because this was one of the first knives that i really took to work and started testing out uh, steels and blade shapes and just the whole gamut of knives. Um, so long before I started the channel, you know, I've been collecting knives, uh, but I've also been testing them at work for quite a while. Uh, and that's how I can say I can legitimately review a knife now no i don't have uh footage that i can b roll to and all of that shit uh i'm just i'm not there yet uh, as far as my skills with the videos so that is just gonna be what it is until i can uh, get to that point but uh you know, there are knives in my collection that I can honestly do a review on and feel comfortable doing it. Uh, now, you know, like this knife per se, I'm not going to be doing a review on this knife for quite a while because I just got it and I do not believe in doing a review of a knife in anything under two three months and that is you know the, the 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 earliest i would say um you know unless you use been using it every single day only that knife for like two months straight then i could see where you could say all right yeah i can review this knife and really tell you uh how it's gonna uh, work and handle and uh how it's going to turn out after a year or two. Uh, now, I've had this for over a year easily. Uh, and I have carried it a bunch. I have used it a bunch. It has held up extremely well. Uh, look at the coating there. The coating is held up very well. Uh, there's... It barely looks, I mean, you can tell there's use, but, uh, you know, there is a little bit of wear on there, but for as long as I've had this and used it, um, Concept did an awesome job. Uh, Concept kind of flies under the radar. They'll put a great model out here, put a bunch of crazy stuff out there, and they're just kind of all over the place. They tend to stick with like S35VN and 154 and that's all right, except, you know, they think their titanium and S35 knives are worth two, three hundred dollars when you can go get, you know, a titanium liner lock and 14C for 110, 120 uh, you can get like M390 and titanium for like, what, 280 to 300 here. Uh, the Nimble and M390 and titanium. Uh, so some of the pricing that Concept does, I don't agree with. But some of them are pretty good. 
so uh, it carries well. We can do a quick weight on it, a quick cut test on it, and then I will get you guys out of here. So we're coming in a little over four ounces, like between four and 4.1, uh, which for ratios, it's a little off, but for someone like me, I do not give two squirts of piss about ratios. Uh, a la the 80-10, the 80-15. You know, I, I really do not care about ratios. That's something that uh, just doesn't really make sense to me. Uh, so if you like something, you like something, you know. Uh, so, but that's just my personal opinion. So you got a little over three and a quarter of cutting edge and then just past that, you know, it's like five sixteenths to three eighths. So somewhere in that ballpark. And then down here at the very, very tip of tip or uh, butt end of the knife, you're coming in like right at seven and fifteen sixteenths, almost eight inches overall. So a great size for, you know, large hands, extra large hands. Uh, this is going to be a good size. Now, this is not a new knife by any means. This knife has been around for a while. Uh, but, you know, there's new people every day coming into uh, the community. And there's new people to my channel. And I'm going to be reviewing everything from... $30, $40 knives up to, you know, however much. So there is going to be a huge uh, range that you're going to see here on this table. Uh, it's not just $100 knives and under. It's not just over $100. It's not just bougie premium knives, you know. Uh, so there it, it's just going to range um and as i said in one of my last videos uh there is going to be quite a flooding of knives around the hundred dollar mark and under that i'm going to be doing because i need to get them filmed and overviewed and onto the channel and then they will move on from my channel about every about every five to ten knives uh, that I do an overview on, they are going to be put up for sale. Not every single one of them, but a lot of them. Because I need to be able to take what I have, do a video on them, and then move them on. So that way I can keep bringing new things into the channel. Uh, this is one knife that will slice and slice and slice. Uh, very, very well done. Uh, 154 from Concept here. Uh, very, very slicey, very sharp, uh, pinpoint precision, um, this is one knife that if you want like a hard user uh, utility style folding knife, uh, this is going to be a winner. Uh, just an amazing, amazing blade. Uh, this knife, uh, for anyone who is newer here or whatever, I am a carpenter by trade. Uh, for the last four years, I've worked as a modular homes finished carpenter, um, and I run into all kinds of different materials. And that knife there is one that really never met anything that it couldn't go through. Um, the only thing, there's... One material that does give certain knives an issue, um, and that is thermoply. Uh, that's what we use on the side of the houses to seal them up for transport. Uh, 
it's very tough stuff and this knife uh i won't say there's very few knives that i could say thermoply didn't give it any trouble but this did very well in almost every scenario uh so that is the concept main street for the $80 price point, which is like the average that I saw across like three or four different websites and Amazon. It's right around the $80 mark for what you're getting. Uh, I give this a, a thumbs up for sure. This would be a great EDC, a great work knife, and a great, you know, EDC work knife. So something you can carry with you pretty much all of the time. You know, if you're looking for that one knife that you can kind of do all with, uh, you know, this should be looked at. Um, and that's one reason why, you know, these were very popular for a time. And, you know, that is the reason why. It's well done with good materials. Uh, it's not so bougie that you're worried about messing it up. And you're going to have a hard time messing it up uh, to begin with, you know, unless you throw it on the concrete and, you know, put rocks on top of it and drive on it or something. But uh, otherwise, you know, under normal conditions, this is going to hold up uh, very well. So if you're still here, thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. I know my videos tend to run long but i feel like you know i i, I have if i'm gonna do a review or an overview I, that's what it is i i can't do it in eight minutes or ten minutes so you know that's just how it is uh maybe i'll be able to get a little better with that and keep them at like 15 minutes but uh that's just how I'm going to do them. Uh, now I do have some videos that are shorter, but uh, you know, even when I really, really try, they're still 17 to 20 minutes long. So that's just the kind of you know, if you like long form content, then you're at the right place. Uh, so if you're still here, thank you. I really appreciate it. Before you head out, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. And if you're still here and you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I love you all. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a safe night. And I will catch you later.